So now I wanna share a little bit about this, the fresh produce wash, why I use it. So fruits and veggies, when we think about it, they travel a long, long way. They're usually transported in cardboard boxes, lots of people touching them before they even get to the grocery store, and then even more there. Um, and so before we get it to our house, it's really loaded down. It's dirty, it's typically loaded with the, the bacteria, the pesticides, the antifungal sprays, and then other residue. And we definitely don't want to bring that to our table, right? We want, if we're spending good money on our produce, we want to make sure our family's getting the maximum benefit without any of the nasties. So I love using this. I've completely said goodbye to all that residue, the chemicals, and the nasty microbes by giving my produce a good cleaning with a fresh produce wash. It's USDA certified, which I love, 97% bio-based. So it's from plants and other renewable resources. It leaves absolutely no aftertaste, no odor, no film. Our food just looks good and smell good. It's safe. All the ingredients in this are non-toxic. It's free from all the nasty stuff we learn about, right? The SLS, SLES, sulfates, phosphates, parabens, synthetic dyes, and gluten. And I just love that I can naturally clean my fruits and veggies and it's easy to use, does not require any scrubbing, which is perfect for things like this. Plus, as a bonus, when we are properly washing our produce, it extends the shelf life. So it's gonna stay fresher longer once we store it and put it in our fridge. The container is actually recyclable and it's made from ocean bound plastic. So easy to use, you just dilute a half to one tablespoon in about two cups of water. You soak your fruits and veggies for maybe one or two minutes and swish. If, you're, if I'm washing like uh, lettuce or kale, you wanna swish that around in the water. Uh, broccoli, kind of move the, actually I'll show you with the broccoli. Um, or you can pour it in using a measuring spoon or you can use the sprayer. Uh, with the sprayer, you just leave it on for about 30 seconds and then rinse. And I always like drying my produce with a Norwex kitchen cloth or kitchen towel, just for an added bonus. So let me do a couple video or demos and show you how great this works. You're gonna be amazed by what's in the water when I'm done. Past, I used to just rinse like with water or even I would use a little vinegar sometimes um, to clean my produce. It really didn't get anywhere near as clean as what it does now with the fresh produce wash. So I'm just gonna show you, let me bring my camera a little closer. I'm gonna show you something kind of crazy. I talked about the wax that they put on produce to help it look good, stay fresher longer. Watch what happens when I put the water over this. It just kind of beads off. It doesn't get absorbed. It completely beads off of the broccoli. Even if I rinse it for a while, it's still beading. So that is that waxy residue which actually holds on to the microbes, the pesticides, the dirt. So now let's move this back and I'm gonna show you what I do now, super easy. So I have two white bowls of water because I wanna look at what's in the bowl when we're done. And this has one cup each, so I'm gonna use either a capful or half a tablespoon. So this actually lasts me for a pretty long time. So we'll just do a half a tablespoon in here, okay? And I'm actually gonna wash these as well. So both of these items are organic. And this one even says ready to eat, triple washed. We'll see about that. So this is my berries, which I love berries and yogurt, love them. All right, so I'm just gonna put a half a tablespoon in the second bowl. So we're gonna start soaking our broccoli. So we're just gonna stick that in there. Now, normally I would use a bigger bowl, but since just for time's sake, we'll just use this small one. And I'm gonna take the Norwex. Um, this is called the netted dish cloth, which is awesome. You can actually get this for free during our party. I use this for dishes and lots of other things, but I love using it when I soak my produce. So I'm just gonna lay it over the bowl and then actually we're not even gonna do all of it. We'll do part of it. That way we can get it before and after. So I'm just gonna put that in there and that nice and soaked in there. And then it says one to two minutes. So I'm just gonna swish this around real good. 
and let me get something to lay it on when I'm done. I'll get my, this is the Norwex kitchen towel. So I'm just gonna get that out and we'll lay the berries that we did not use the fresh produce on. We'll lay those right there. All right, it's probably been about a minute. And what's cool about this is I can actually keep using this water over and over again with the produce wash in it. So if I wasn't doing a video right now, I would just do my broccoli and then I would put the berries in the same bowl when I'm done with the broccoli. So lasts a long time. When I get back from the grocery store and I have all my stuff, right? I'll wash everything before putting it in the fridge because it's gonna stay fresher longer and I'm not int introducing the bacteria and microbes into my refrigerator. All right, it's been at least a minute, almost two, I would say. So now we're just going to rinse this off and I'm gonna bring the camera back over. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but watch this. So remember, this is the one that we did not wash with the produce wash. See the water like beating off? Okay, let's take the one that I did wash. I'm gonna rinse that off. Look at the water, it's going right through it. So I'm truly able to get a nice clean. All right, so we shook that off, shake this one off. Look at the difference. This is now free of that waxy residue, which holds on to microbes, dirt, bacteria, all that stuff. Look at, which one would you rather eat? I would rather eat this one. Okay. So it's been equal amount of time on our berries. So I'm just going to, this is what I love about this netted dishcloth. I can use it for so much. I'm just gonna rinse, shake those around a little bit and rinse them off. All right, some of that excess water. Now remember the container said washed and ready to eat. So look at this, wow. The difference in the color is amazing. Can you guys see, oh, maybe not. Look at the difference in the color. So this is the one we just pulled out of the bowl. And then this is the one that we didn't use the produce wash on. And it did say washed and ready to eat. You ready for this? Look at what's in here. We got microbes, dirt, pesticides. These are also very likely coated in a wax. Tastes so good. Now I'm just gonna put these in the fridge, put the broccoli in the fridge. It's gonna stay fresher longer, firmer longer, and I'll get my money's worth, right? I hated when I would buy things and not use it in enough time. And by the time I went to go use it, it was, it was destroyed. It was wilted, it was mushy, had stuff on it. Now I'm not gonna have that problem.